don't work, work super great whenever they're really muddy. So, I'm trying to get a lot of this mud off. Clean it up so that it ugh, doesn't creak and grind and be nasty all day. I left my bike out last night hoping that it would rinse off the mud in the rain. It did not, but it did make my bags all wet inside. So now I gotta clean them out again. All right, this is the sixth day in a row. I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt to do eight days in a row. So far, I've made predictions of how difficult rides are gonna be and I've been wrong almost every time. So I'm gonna do it again. So today I predict is gonna be a good day. Third day in a row, rain. <laughs> yeah, I start off right here. Have a little bit of a climb and a little climb and then, you know, there's climbs along the way, but it goes downhill. Climbs towards the end of the day and then downhill and then a small climb into, I don't even know how you pronounce that. A biqui, a biqui. That's where we're going tonight. This has been a slow start to the day. It took like, gosh, an hour and a half to get ready, which for us is slow. <laughs> Tearing down the pop-up and getting the bike ready and getting food. So good thing it's a uh, shorter day. It's only 70 miles today. So who knows? Maybe that'll take 15 hours. <laughs> Legs are a little sore today. I'll get warmed up and get going here in a few minutes. See you guys. Austin asked me to uh, talk today about things that are difficult on the ride. And I hesitate to even do that because I don't want to seem like I'm complaining. Because I'm not. I feel blessed to be here and blessed to be able to do all this. Uh, but yeah, it's difficult. Uh, the weather can be really challenging. <clears throat> I haven't had a ton of bad days, but when they hit, they're really bad. And uh, I get really, really cold. And so making sure I have enough uh, warm gloves and shoes and hats and rain jackets and everything on my bike at all times has been really important. I think the, the just the back-to-back -back days, it's really hard on my body. And I wake up a lot of mornings very stiff and, and tired, especially whenever I've <clears throat> strung a lot of days together without a rest day. I wake up and it's really hard to get going, sluggish eating making sure it's a it's a game of eating and drinking so if you can eat and drink consistently every hour man you do so much better but surprisingly it's really tough when you get in a groove to keep eating and keep drinking consistently all right another thing that's hard i talked about the weather but i think the thing about the weather that is difficult is the uncertainty so it'll start raining and I'll think, man, clouds are forming. It looks like it's gonna be big. And I stop to get my jacket out and then it goes away. <laughs> or oh, I think it's gonna go away. It doesn't look too bad. And, and then it hits really hard and hails. I think the uncertainty of it is really tough. And I think the other thing about the ride the divide that is a challenge regarding weather is in New Mexico, when it rains, the roads get super bad, really muddy and uh, tons of stories of people having to abandon their bikes and hike out or call emergency services. So um, that's always looming in the back of my mind and uh, it's a challenge, challenge. This one does not look like it's gonna be a little one. I think I'm gonna put my rain pants on now. Three days over in a row of this kind of stuff. It's not my favorite thing to do. Does it matter? I think it does. I've seen everybody getting involved and I'm pumped about that. And I'm doing a small piece of it but to see our community come together and make a difference around the world, that matters. I can put up with some rain. 
and some really scary thunder. Made it to Abiq, and in honor of Jerry Abbott, my buddy who I work with, um, I'm having ice cream. I feel like anywhere you go on the right of the divide and you have an opportunity to have ice cream, you should have ice cream. Mm. I made it to Abiq. I love ice cream. Out of all the things on this ride that are so difficult and so challenging, I gotta say I love my job. I wouldn't trade it for anything. You wanna know what a monsoon is? That's the monsoon. Three, 